Jonathan, j'ai trouvé en toi mon meilleur ami. Jonathan, j'ai trouvé en toi ma meilleure amie. Et un partenaire pour la vie. Et un partenaire pour la vie. À tes côtés pour toujours. À tes côtés pour toujours. Je te promets d'être fidèle. Je te promets d'être fidèle. I will share your joys and sorrows. I will share your joys and sorrows. Today I accept to become your wife. Today I accept to become your wife. Jonathan, I will love you for the rest of my days. Jonathan, I will love you for the rest of my days. Maintenant, Jonathan, je te demanderai de répéter après moi. Alexandra, j'ai trouvé en toi ma meilleure amie. Alexandra, j'ai trouvé en toi ma meilleure amie. Une partenaire pour la vie. Une partenaire pour la vie. À tes côtés pour toujours. À tes côtés pour toujours. Je te promets d'être fidèle. Je te promets d'être fidèle. I will share your joys and sorrows. I will share your joys and sorrows. Today I accept to become your husband. Today I accept to become your husband. Alexandra, I will love you for the rest of my days. Alexandra, I will love you for the rest of my days. Après moi. Avec cet anneau, avec cet anneau, je t'épouse. Je t'épouse. Je te le donne maintenant. Je te le donne maintenant. Pour que tous puissent voir, pour que tous puissent voir mon amour pour toi. Mon amour pour toi. <laughs> Jonathan, répète après moi. Avec cet anneau. Avec cet anneau. Je t'épouse. Je t'épouse. Je te le donne maintenant. Je te le donne maintenant. Pour que tous puissent voir. Pour que tous puissent voir. Mon amour pour toi. Mon amour pour toi. Alexandra, do you take Jonathan to be your husband through all of the days of your life, to love him and cherish him? to help him and honor him, to care for and respect him, and to give him understanding and comfort in whatever the future may bring, in confidence that together you are responsible for your destiny. I do. Jonathan, do you take Alexandra to be your wife through all the days of your life, to love her and cherish her, to help her and honor her, to care for and respect her, and to give her understanding and comfort in whatever the future may bring, in confidence that together you are responsible for your destiny. I do. Ayant célébré ce mariage et en vertu des pouvoirs qui nous ont dévolus par la province du Nouveau-Brunswick, je déclare Alexandra et Jonathan mari et femme. You may kiss your bride. everybody we are so happy to have uh, you here to celebrate this big uh, uh, wedding the great wedding so uh, John uh, Fine is a beloved woman and we are so happy we love her so much now she is a Martino so ratingly but that's <laughs> and I would like to let you know what we have for the meal and if it's not good you need to say that's good When I was younger, all my family, I loved to be around Allie. <laughs> I would even, in the middle of the nights, having nightmares. It was Allie's bed that I would go to. And whenever I needed any type of advice, Allie was always the person that I would go to. It, so it's no secret that Allie and I have had a bond since, as long as I can remember, like, no other. For me, she's been a big sister a best friend, a mom, a parenting partner, um, really through all stages of my life. She's been the helium for me to lift me up when I'm down, the compass when I've been lost, and I'm forever grateful for that. <clears throat> and like Seb, <laughs> Allie has taught me a few things that I will be forever grateful. And the greatest thing about being a little sister is sometimes the big sister gets to go through things and you learn a little bit. But sometimes those adventures, even though we're a little bit dangerous, seem just great enough for me to try to. <laughs> so that I would follow. <clears throat> but I think the greatest thing that she's taught me and 
I'll be forever thankful until I'm old and gray is how to fill in my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when uh, uh, a few years back, Allie telling me about a guy she's she's seeing, and she would just go on forever about how handsome he is and how talented he is and yeah I don't know whatever happened to him but <laughs> just joking joke that, that's, that's a joke for those who don't know I am John's big brother my first language is French, so of course back uh, back in 1982, I just want to say something, my, my uh, English was absolutely terrible. It's okay now, but back then it was even worse. For years, we were driving to Moncton, and we would pass Irish Town, and there was a house there with a sign, a big, big sign. And on that sign, there was a word, there was spell, C apostrophe M-O-N apostrophe I-N. And for ages, when we were driving by, my mom would say, what kind of store would call themselves Simonin? For years and years and years, we drove by that sign and we said Simonin. What a terrible name. Like, that's, that's awful for a business. <laughs> and then one day, I clue in. <laughs> I said, this is not Simonin. It's come on in. 